So most of you chose to interview your mother in this class, an, an aunt, oh, Miss Walla, a former teacher. Most of the interviews were 30 minutes. Someone was 45. I had a few 45 minute interviews before. It depends upon the person you're interviewing. See, this is one way you can gather historical evidence. You probably, you probably pass by it every day, right? Someone said it's near Slav. It is, right? This was put up specifically to honor the memory of Captain Ogonowski. It's right on Broadway Road in front of the Ogonowski farm. If you drive by there now, they're selling lots of flowers because it's fall. And they sell mums. They grow, they grow things there. It's an active farm. And on the other side of the monument, it says... In memory of Captain John A. Oganowski, pilot American Airlines, Flight 11. He was born on February 24, 1951, and he died on September 11, 2001. He was a pilot, a farmer, and active in land preservation, environmentalist, and he was a conservationist. He actually was a trained pilot. He served in Vietnam and was a veteran. He worked as a pilot in 2001, part-time. He only flew twice a week. Exactly. The World Trade Center represented American economy and business. So the symbolism is American business our economy. This was well planned out. These guys didn't get up on the morning of September 11, 2001 and say, we're going to hijack these planes. They had, it, it was symbolic. Even the date that they chose, 9-1-1, 9-11. If you dial the police or the fire department for an emergency, what's the number you dial? 9-1-1. Where were you when you heard about it? I was at my mom's house, said my mom. So your grandmother? My grandmother. You, your mother was at your grandmother's house. Okay. Yes. What do you remember about it? It was a sad day in that two planes, four planes were crashed. Now my next question was, who were you with? She answered, my whole family. Like her side of the family. And then my next question was, on a scale of 1 to 10, how sad were you? She answered 10. Uh, my mother had said that on the morning of September 11, 2001, she had been taking care of my little brother and I while my father had been at work. She was watching Good Morning America on the television while when a plane had hit the World Trade Center. At first, she thought a tourism plane had gone off course until she noticed another plane crashed into the World Trade Center in the background. It was soon announced that after 20 years without a threat, America had been under attack. My mother was trying to explain to my father over the phone what was happening. A reporter from the Pentagon was speaking in an interview when an explosion was heard and the Pentagon had been attacked in the same way. My mother was having a, memor a memory of how she had to learn how to survive a nuclear bombing because of threats after the Cold War. She was almost regretting bringing my brother and I into this new world we had to live in. She screamed at the television even when she knew the, the helicopters couldn't save the people inside the building. She watched in awe as the buildings imploded and crumbled to the ground. My mother will never forget 9-11. Today I, had to, today I got to interview my mom's best friend who now babysits my younger siblings. She was a preschool teacher at the time and they weren't allowed to watch TV with little children around. She started to see parents who were coming in sad, more sad or they were scared and depressed and would not leave their kids. She and her co-workers were going to ask one of the parents. She was the first to ask. She not, oh, she, um, the next mother who walked in the door told her all about what was happening. She was not only shocked, but she was in disbelief. She thought, uh, she thought to herself, "Is this, is such a shame that, 
A loving country is now being terrorized by people who don't even live here. The next thought that came to her mind was that she had, she had family who lived near there. She was terrified and frantically calling them to see if they were safe. The phone lines were down, so she was very scared, but she had to go through her normal routine with the kids. What was it like to watch documentaries and hear people talking about the 9-11 attacks on the Twin Towers? It's very hard for anyone who remembers it, not just from hearing about it. It's extremely hard to remember. What is your opinion on the choice that the victims inside had to make, which is jumping out of the building or having their lungs be burned out? She said it's hard to imagine the choice that they needed to make. I believe that it took a lot of courage to even think about jumping out. It sounds strange, but to die fast or quick is a truly heroic act. But if I was in that situation, I don't think I would know what to do under the circumstances that they were in. John Collins for the Lowell Sun. We're in the hallway of Lakeview Junior High School with Trisha Wojdas, who is a, a freshman in high school here in Drake. It last year took Rebecca Duda's eighth grade history class talking about 9-11 today because it is September 11, 2013. Uh, your dad's a firefighter and you know so many firefighters uh, perished in 9-11. That must have added significance for you, you and yeah. your family, Trisha. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, what do you think of when you think of this date? Is it... Uh, Something that you found out about through your parents? Well, I just kind of grew up knowing about it. Like, oh yeah, that's a terrorist attack that happened when I was little. Too little to remember. And it's a really tragic event that's a sore topic for some people. You were in preschool, right? Yeah. What did your parents tell you about that day? Um, the events of that, that when they found out? When I was in preschool, what did they tell me? Oh no! Like I mean, I mean, you, they. What did they tell you now? Um, about how they found out? Well, just like I said, through um, a phone call from a friend, and how they watched it on the news, and it was hard, especially for my dad and my mom being a nurse, with all those people too, right. like dying and stuff. Yeah.